Happy Thanksgiving, Camp Boitiwa. I'm sorry it's been so long since we've been with you. We've been wrapped up in all this Thanksgiving. We're thankful for a lot at Camp Boitiwa. We're thankful for the campers who came to camp this summer to find Sasquatch. We are thankful for the campers who trusted the rope while rock climbing. We're thankful for all the campers who got in the boat whitewater rafting. And we're thankful for all of our counselors uh, who gave so well this summer to all of us and to all the campers. Uh, and because we want another great summer with wonderful counselors, we went on a 5,000 mile road trip to find the best counselors in the country. After 24 hours of driving straight to Alabama, the conversations in the car started to sound like this. Every once in a while I'd be like a good Waffle House on a road trip. I can get like a full breakfast for two and a half dollars. Which meant that it was good one of our full-time missionaries, Elizabeth, said this. We're in Auburn. In Auburn, we spoke to about 70 students about Camp Wojtyla. We played croquet on campus. We played football on campus. Allie got to stay with her family. Marissa and I won the most creative costume contest at Halloween. And then we left for South Carolina. Some of Emmy Judd's friends took me longboarding. No! Dang. Smaller than you guys. <laughs> and then they decided to make a Keenan Pyramid. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I'm going down hard. <laughs> and all that laughter brought us to the joyful students of Mount St. Mary's in Maryland. And of course, you can never leave a place until you play a traditional camp game. <laughs> <laughs> and then we continued north to Pittsburgh where Elizabeth saw her family and she carved the biggest pumpkin ever grown. She put her head inside of it. That's how big it was. We said hello to the seminarians in Notre Dame. And of course, before we left, I had to kick a football up a 40 foot tree and Elizabeth needed that football, so I had to get it down. Oh. Ow. To capture one last memory of Notre Dame, we wanted to take a picture. But was it really a picture? Oh, that's video. Oh! <laughs> Do you know how to get it off? Yeah. We then drove to Minnesota, where Allie got to see her best friend Janie, in the windy Carleton College. I tried to jump over a river and I got wet. Watch out for rocks! <laughs> we left with the beautiful sound of the a cappella choir ringing in our ears. And we were awoken in the University of Minnesota by the awful sound of Bunny Bunny. And of course, I couldn't finish the road trip without going for a scooter ride. One of our friends, who's going to apply to be a counselor at Camp Oitiwa this summer, took me for a scooter ride in the 20 degree night of South Dakota. Through seeing all of these campuses and having all of the events, we were very grateful. We we're very thankful for our jobs as full-time missionaries and we love serving this mission. But what made us most grateful was hearing the testimonies of the counselors. There's Jacob Dowdy, who after camp is now applying to be a seminarian. Uh, in camp, a guy kind of like strips you down and then builds you back up. And so it's very much kind of cool to sort of see that, how he moves, like, through nothing, he builds great things. Mm. So it's very kind of, like, through no shaft, through those struggles that we even have, 
it very much builds a leader out of that because you can kind of trust in God's like love and mercy and what he's going to do in your life. There was Emmy Judd who spoke to over 20 students in Clemson. I was able to grow more than I think I've ever grown in my life. And, um, you know, our theme verse is John 10.10. 10. It's like, came that you might have life and live it to the full. And I think this past summer was the first time that I really felt like I was living to the fullest. There is Ashley Hare, who after camp is now becoming a focused missionary. Oh gosh, it's like above and beyond. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're learning so much just simply about the faith. Like, Scott just taught us so much. Um, and just like having that foundation and just being formed so well in how to reach people, but then also just how to like be alive in our faith helps us by extension just to be good leaders mm -hmm. and to like want to share the faith with others and that joy like is what makes a good leader. Mm -hmm. Looking back on this fall, there have been a lot of events that have made us grateful. But it's not the events that make us grateful, it's the meaning behind the events. At camp, it's not necessarily what we do, but it's why we do it. I said in the beginning that we at camp were grateful for all the campers who came to find Sasquatch and who trusted the rope rock climbing and who got on the boat whitewater rafting. And I hope all of you can look back on this summer and on this fall and, and understand that you weren't just finding Sasquatch, you were finding the sense of discovery and adventure within yourselves. And that you weren't just learning to trust a rope, you were learning to trust God. And that you weren't just jumping in a boat with other friends, you were learning the importance of living your faith in community. So if you want, send us a little video clip of yourself saying one thing that you're grateful for that Camp Waitiwa has taught you. So grab your dad's iPhone, with permission of course, and record yourselves saying why you are thankful for Camp Waitiwa. We'll compile a video and put it on the blog in December. Thank you guys. Have a beautiful Thanksgiving. Say a prayer for us before you eat your turkey. Bye-bye.